everyone, it's Ali and welcome to day 13 in the Defemer Ember collaboration and today's prompts are acetate stroke banner so as usual I've got some bits on my desk here let's put my journal up there um, I've used this die it's a Sizzix die and it cuts that big banner so that's what I've used I've cut it a few times my idea is to try and make a sort of an over the page flip up with the banner so what I've done is I've cut it in some craft card and what my idea is to join them together and then they can go over the page so I'm going to start off first of all by just doing some gluing I'm just going to stick some pattern papers down I mean this has got holes in this die I think it's it obviously if you want to make a banner to hang on the wall but I'll be covering that up um, I am going to stitch around everything but I just want to put my papers on first so we've stuck that piece on the front I'm going to stick this piece down just so that when I do the aperture we can we've got something at the back back of the you know underneath the so now I want to cover this white bit up because this is going to be on show when we flip it up so I've got another piece of this pattern paper it took me a little bit of thinking about to, to work out how many die cuts I needed to do because I didn't want you to be able to see anything white so I'm hoping now I've done that oops that's not on properly let's just take it off So that when we join this one together and we flip it over we will not have any paper showing so which one I'm going to put there so I think I want to put this one on this side I'm only going to put the aperture on one side I think or should I do it on two um, maybe I could do it on two but I'd have to cut another piece of paper I think no I think I'm just going to do it on one and just embellish the other side so a lot of sticking so we're over halfway well we're halfway aren't we today day 13 yeah so that's how we're looking so my plan is to sort of glue them together so that we can put it over a page now I don't know whether I want to I don't know whether I want to put an aperture in that one as well. No, I think I'm going to leave that one. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to do a little bit of inking. I'm so indecisive, aren't I? I'm sorry. I do get on my own nerves at times. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to stitch it. So I'm just going to get rid of some of the white that's showing. I'm a bit behind, I've known I was filming sort of two, three days in advance but the girls haven't been well and one thing and another so I just haven't done much crafting. So I'm just trying to catch up, see if I can get a couple done today, they're all back in school now, well they finish this week so hopefully there'll be no more illness over Christmas I'm hoping. Right so what I want to do is I want to cut an aperture in this one, so I've just got some dies here. Uh, let's see what size we want yeah that size so I'm just going to take it to my die cutter machine it's just at the side of me here and okay so after deliberating I decided to do apertures in both of the banners so I'm just going to put them bits to one side for a minute might need to use them again right so my plan now then is to put some acetate behind the windows I'm sure I've just got some acetate out yeah it's here so I'm just going to cut some acetate okay so that just cut a little bit more off the bottom so that's going to go over there like that and then a piece to go over this one down a little bit yeah so that 
that's on there right now I don't know whether to use glue or double sided tape I think I'll use some of this double sided tape it might stick better so I'm just going to put some tape around the edges of my window I could do with a thinner one really I've got a thinner tape I'm just going to have a look to see if I've got a thinner tape yes I have I thought I had some thinner tape right let's find the end of this don't use this stuff very often but it comes in handy at times I mean I could probably put some three in one on it to be honest that would probably work but let's just try this if not we'll we can do it again God, the trouble is when you're working with acetate you can't see it on your desk so I've stuck it to there <laughs> Right, let's just burnish that down. Let's make bone folder. Right, so I'm just going to take off my back end. Let's just see if this will work. Yeah, that tape's better. I'm just trying to make sure I've covered all my edges. I could have done with leaving it a little tiny bit wider. Right, there we go. So there's the acetate window. I will give it a wipe over. Let's do the same with this one. Sorry if you can't see the acetate on the desk. I can't see the acetate on the desk, to be honest. I wonder if I put it on a piece of paper. I don't think it'll make any difference. Oh, yes, I can see it better now. Burnish that tape down. And let's take off the back in. I was going to make some little altered paper clips and then I decided this would look nice over one of the pages in the journal, so I opted for this. <laughs> I do use acetate quite a bit in my crafting to be honest. Right, let's do the same with this one. See if we can get it in the middle. There we go. So now my plan is to hinge them two together and then we can just put it over a page. I don't know what I want to put in the middle. Let me just get a piece of kitchen towel and just wipe that acetate a little bit. I don't know whether fingerprints on. Right, let's put something in the aperture for now. Um, so I've also got some acetate leaves as well. I've got quite a lot of these. So I was thinking maybe we could use some of these leaves. Oops, some big ones. That's nice with the berries on these acetate leaves forever in a day and I just never get them out to use them. Is that a different one or is that the same? No that's different isn't it? We could go with them too. So that's an option or we could put a fussy cut in there. Let's have a look at what the fussy cuts we've got and let's see if I think that'll be better. Um, I think these acetate stickers will be better because you won't be able to see any glue or anything will you so I think if we put these fussy cuts on we're going to have to use glue right let's go with the stickers let's go with these now this is the best bit now trying to get it off the off the uh, backing you know the backing sheet that comes on it right let's see if we can get under Gotta get your pokey tool just underneath. I think. Now I have. Right, let's just put 
that one there then. Just like that. Sorry, you'll probably get a glare on the screen off the acetate. I'm sorry about that. It's just what happens, isn't it, when you work with acetate? I've got my ring light on because it's very dark and gloomy day. I do struggle with these stickers, trying to get the backings off. Right, I think I've done it. Yes, I have. Right, where's the second one? Let's put that on there. Like that. And then, do I want to put this in the back? If I put that in there, it doesn't look nice at all, does it? Because you can't see the acetate. So I'm not going to. No, I'm not going to. I'm just going to join them together in the middle. So I want some washi. Uh, what colour tape do we want? some Tim Holtz washi here let's see if there's anything I think that fabric tape will, tape will be best because it's quite strong I just don't know whether it'll be a bit too thick let's just have a little look find the edge might be a bit too thick to go yeah it's too thick that one what a shame uh, what else should we have I have got the botanical ones but I didn't get them out. I could always go and grab a green one. These are more. Bear with me a second guys. I'm just going to grab my green washi tape. There won't be a second. They're here. None of these will be better. I think we'll have that dark green one. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do is just hinge them together. I am going to put a little bit of glue. I'm trying to think of the best way to work. I'm working on an angle. Can you see there, guys? I think you can. Right, let's put that over there. Like that. And then turn it over. Let's just get rid of that glue. I am going to stitch over this and then just put a bit of glue on this side as well. Just to keep it, keep it down. Right, let's turn that bit over and then let's put this bit down. There we go. I think that should hold it. Right, let's just rip that. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. So it'll just go over the page like that. So I have stitched across the top where I've put the washi and I've stitched all around the edge. So I'm just going to embellish it a little bit. Let's get rid of them little threads. I mean, there's not much space to do embellishing really. It's a little bit out offline, you know, a little not centered when you put them together. But when you put them, let's just get my journal and show you what I mean. When you put them over, paper clip them over the page like that, you know, then you, you've got something both sides. Right, let's have a look what we can put on the front here. Like I said, there's not much room to embellish really, but we'll have to put something on. I'm just going to get rid of this thread. Yeah, these fussy cuts I think will be too big to put something on unless we can put something up the side. Got a nice butterfly a butterfly on the bottom um, what else have we got a squirrel that would be nice but his tail would stick over the edge that butterfly will have to go upside down they're a bit big aren't they uh, what else have we got got a deer no, they're hanging over the edge as well. Got any little butterflies? Put one little butterfly there and one little butterfly. Let's get that other one. That's too big. Um, an owl. Oh, I don't know what I want to put on here. I can't make my mind up. Where's my mushrooms? Let's see if there's any small mushrooms. 
ticket and a word. what they look like I've got no room to put anything I've got stuff everywhere oh they look better don't they yeah they look better not as not as much let's have a little ticket as well a little label rather put that down there one on there and which one do I want what does that say nature I'm just looking what these little black words say. Fauna, we could have that one and nature, couldn't we? And I think I don't want to put anything else on there because I don't think there's any room to put a lot of embellishing on this ephemera. I've uh, not got a big... Right, that'll do. Let's just ink around these. So a nice quick project today then, guys, yeah? Might try and see if I can get a couple more done then I'm ahead of myself again. I like to be a few days in you know ahead just in case I'm not up to crafting on that day so let's see if we can get a few more done this afternoon yeah I think the mushrooms look better everything else looked a bit big didn't it right let's stick these down oh sorry guys that's just my tablet with a notification let's stick that mushroom there And this little label. I was going to put some cheesecloth on, but it's just adding bulk all the time. And then that word just says nature. Just stick that on there. Right, so we want to put that one that way. Let's see, I was going to say, where's the mushroom gone? Mushroom there, and then put this little label on. Now, what did I do with that word? Here it is. I don't know whether to go around this with my gold gilding polish. I'm just going to trim off that little bit of mushroom at the side there. Gonna do then to finish off is I'm just gonna get my gilding polish, which is where are you? Here. Just put them away, and I'm just gonna gild around the edge just to tie it in with my other ephemera. <laughs> going to sit over my journal page like that so we've got something that side and something that side so I enjoyed doing that actually yeah I did um how long have we took I think that's a record one isn't it about oh half an hour I'm sorry about the glare guys off my lights zoom in a little bit so there we go then that was day was it 13 yes day 13 acetate and banner so we're done for another day so as always guys thank you and take care and I'll see you tomorrow in my new video Bye for now.